Hey guys, so here I'll just do a brief unboxing of the Tarot 4008 Martin brushless motor. For people who who need the exact uh, model number, this is the TL2955 motor. So what it is, is a 330kV brushless motor and uh, it's used for medium to large-ish size quadcopters. If you can see the packaging, it comes in a very nice plastic um, case. Most uh, other drone motors come in, um, in what do you call it, in a cardboard box. So this is a welcome change and it's also very secure. It means it's very secure during shipping. Let me open it up. Uh, so it has tape running all the way around the two pieces. So it's like a almost like a clamshell I'd say. So you run the tape and you open it all the way around. I'll also describe um, a few of the items that are included in the box with the motor. So here what we have is a bunch of screws. So there's two screws that are used for mounting um, a folding propeller and then there's, there's a bunch of other short i think about six millimeter um pan head screws that are used for i think mounting the the motor itself onto your frame uh so and it also has the top piece of the folding propeller mechanism. This one in, is made of uh, carbon fiber, which makes it very light. And uh, yeah, and a few washers for the folding propellers. Okay, so aside from the screws and the and the mounting plates, uh, you have the motor itself. And here you can see the motor is in, is is um is closed up in some kind of soft material this is for further protection during shipping so it doesn't bash around the the plastic casing too much so we'll peel that off right now it's very easy to peel off and this reveals the motor itself so here you can see it's it's a 330 kv 4008 motor which means that it's a 40 millimeters diagonal um, diameter versus eight millimeters thick so this is a very high efficiency motor because most motors that use this kind of pancake style are actually a lot more efficient than the ones with the longer case and the shorter diameter those those ones with the shorter diameter and the longer case actually give you more power these ones give you more efficiency yeah so um in terms of the mounting mechanism, uh, it has uh, two, two different options. The first one is the three holes 60 degrees apart from each other. And the total diameter is about 32 millimeters around this, um, this circle, the circle that these three holes um, draw out. And the second one is actually a very unconventional design in my opinion in that they actually use square 19 millimeter holes so normally you'll either find 19 millimeter and 25 millimeter or 25 millimeter square but these guys have actually chosen to, uh, to use 19 millimeter square mounting as a second option so you just need to make sure that your mount is actually able to accommodate this particular layout of the holes you over here on the top you can see it it includes um the lower the base plate of the folding mechanism and uh this is paired with the with the one that's included here for you to mount um the the folding propeller this is actually made from some kind of alloy it's a very light um, alloy. I'm guessing maybe some kind of magnesium or aluminium alloy. It's very light. And in fact, what, what I can do now is I can compare it to a motor that I've been using for a very long time. This is the GAT 4112 uh, 400 kV motor. 
So these motors, I'm actually switching from these motors to this one primarily because of the extra bulk and weight that these motors have. Uh, if I run the weighing scale, just very quickly, we can actually see that these GATT motors weigh about 135 grams. Now, if we compare this to the Martin 4008 motors, you can actually see that they are a lot lighter. These ones are about 86 grams which makes them a lot lighter for usage on, um, on a high-efficiency quadcopter or multicopter. And uh, the reason for that is, number one, 400 kV, normally when you're running big propellers, it tends to draw a lot more current from, from this kind of kV rating. Whereas with a 330 kV, you'll normally draw a lot less current, but get a lot more torque or twisting power for your for your motor which will in turn spin the propeller a lot more efficiently and also another thing is that difference of about 50 grams means that for even something as small as a quadcopter you'll have 200 grams extra unnecessary weight on the quad that you'll be carrying around unnecessarily so uh, you need to make sure that um, your your motors the motors that you select are as light as possible if you're going for an efficient build Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about these, please feel free to leave them below.